Hi, today we're going to have a look at editing abilities in Kesson 2. You can give any ability in the game to any general if you want. There's a couple of things you've got to know first. So going back with this key, as you can see, I've been deciphering where all the abilities in the game are stored. They're grouped into three different rows, individually for each officer. Most of the war type general abilities are in this first row here. So you've got stuff like Rally, Duel, Battle Cry, and Charge, and Elephant Charge. The second row here is Basic Magic and some of the leftover War General abilities, so Iron Wall and both Rushes. And the third row is just the Elite Magic, so that's just the three spells, Lightning, Gale, and Fisher. It's all in a general order and they're all listed numerically with these two digits in hexadecimal form. If you want to turn all the abilities in one section off and have nothing, it will be zero, 0, and if you want all of those abilities in that section, it's FF, so that's every ability in that section. So many of the combinations of these abilities I've already written down. There's still a fair few that I've yet to document. If you can remember from the previous tutorial, again, it's easy to edit what you want. You just find out what you want to do and edit in the key, these two digits, so you want these. And then you change these two digits in the other file, and then you'll activate by changing the one to a zero, and back again. So looking at this file, this is where you can change the abilities. This is again in different rows. So you see the first row is changing the stats of the individual officer, so war, magic, fame and experience. The second row will be the ability modifier in those three categories and then if there is a third row it will be about adjusting the recharge of those abilities in those categories. Again not all these generals have data but I'll fill in the rest soon. There's some interesting things that I've already found now. When you initiate a duel with someone who doesn't have it they don't really say anything but they'll just repeat their denial dialogue over and over while dueling, as I've shown in an earlier video. It seems that most generals do actually have rally or battle cry dialogue, even if they don't naturally learn it. Now, cavalry charge and elephant charge are both listed as different abilities, even though they have the same name. That's the same as spear rush and foot rush. I'll get into now why that you've got to choose the right one sometimes. There's a problem that if you change too much and overwrite the natural abilities of the general, you can do this during a stage, but there'll be a problem at the start of the next stage because they'll try to relearn their own, their old abilities, but this code will constantly overwrite it. So you'll be stuck and can't progress. So it's important, especially with those two charges and rushes, because if you get them wrong, you can get soft locked. Also, I wouldn't give out too many abilities to one general. Past 13, the wheel of the general will just spin constantly. And while you can back out of it and carry on with the game, you can't select the full team and beyond abilities. Finally, I've been finding out about how to have instant recharge on a general. I've been updating the codes which can turn abilities permanently on or permanently off. Now when there's a third row, the zero, 00 is the code to turn all abilities of that type on permanently. And there's other numbers which can turn some of the abilities on but others off. I haven't found out many of those yet. So let's try out some examples. 
So down here, I've got Wu Yi here with every ability in the game, FF. They're all turned on here. I've got Yan Yan here with 22 in that section. So that's Holly and Jewel, whereas he should learn normally and naturally Snipe and Battle Cry, so that's two different abilities, and we'll see why that's a problem later. And then I've got Zurong here with 8D and in this section. So that's the Elephant Charge, Raid, Rally and Battle Cry. And then in this section, it's Iron Wall. And she's also got a third row and that's turned on so that she's got instant recharge for that first section. So always make sure to save, reload your game, and make sure cheats are on. I've got a game up here earlier with it all done up. So here you can see I've got Wu Yi with every ability in the game. So it only shows on his wheel the first five. But if you go to the right, you won't be able to select any of them, but you can go back. If you go and scroll to the left, you can go and there's different abilities even though they have the old text. And you can select these during a battle, but obviously past the 13th you won't be able to again. And then I've got Yan Yan with two different abilities, and then Zirong with those five. So we just show them out in the battle. So here, you can select any of these first five, even the ones after the five. And here you can see that Wu Yi has used his up his ability. But now Zi Rong will try out. Hey! Follow me now, guys! Now she's got instant recharge attached to this category of ability, so she can use Rally over and over if she wants. Now let's have a look at being soft locked. So this is near the end of the stage. And we got Yan Yan here. Again, so he should have Iron Wall, Snipe, and Butterfly. Instead, he's got Volley and Jewel.
enemy's units been annihilated. With the victory we have. So yeah, I'll be fine here. He'll re try and reline his old abilities. But now you have a problem at the start of this stage. What should be done? So it doesn't matter which policy you choose. Good. You have the same result. And after this, you'll just end up trying to relearn and re over and over his old ability it would keep getting deleted so yeah I'd recommend keeping the natural abilities of every general and just add on extra ones if you want thanks for listening to my tutorial and good night